Leo, welcome to your weekly reading. This will be a reading for all Leo placements for the week of October 23rd through the 29th. I'm going to take a look at some pre-shuffled oracle messages. I'm just kind of going over a few of them because I like to sit with the energies with the oracle for a moment and really allow the messages to come through before I can convey them. And then we're going to go with a totally organic tarot spread, um, kind of being led and guided this week to do something completely different for your weekly message. So we're going to get into it, okay? So again, this is for all Leo placements. I really want to thank you for being here, for taking the time out to view this. And um, if you haven't already, feel free to like and subscribe if this resonates all right. So your first message is such a beautiful message, is the Earth Mother. Feeling loved and comforted is going to be the energy of the week for you. So the energy of the Earth, right? Because I do see the, the opposing card that, it, that we're getting for the Oracle message is, is feeling depleted. I think you've been working really hard, Leo. And the Earth Mother, as you can see here, she's wearing only leaves, showing her vulnerability. And the Earth, we do a hell of a lot to this planet every day. And still, she keeps on turning. She keeps on providing. So I think that I'm reading for some Leos out there that are a bit burnt out who've been going full speed ahead towards a dream, working on the best that they can to their ability on being, I, I heard the word perfect, showing up. I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta be perfect, all right? I want you to know here at the card that you are loved and guided and, di and divinely blessed through the earth herself. The very earth, you are like a baby in her eyes. She is here to nurture you. You may be facing issues with your mother, this week, where you're concerned about her, I heard. I'm concerned about my mother. But the overall vibe of the week for you, Leo, is to allow yourself to be loved and comforted, maybe in some unseen places, maybe in unexpected ways, will you feel loved and comforted this week. This is about being vulnerable. You also see here the triple goddess, you know, going through all phases of life as the mother maiden and crone, right? or Maiden Mother Crone, I said that wrong. As we go through all these phases of life, we are supported by the earth, okay? Always. So whatever it is that you need to do, support yourself as you go through all these changes. It's very important. And being grounded and connected to the earth is gonna be very important for you for this week, okay? Never forget your connection to this earth. She is our home. Because I do believe, Leo, that you have been pushing yourself. Right now, you're being guided to go to the wellspring you know, uh, where you can replenish and rejuvenate and take a breath. I think here you are resting. Will you do that for me this week? Do that for yourself. But I'm asking you that you need to consider taking a break, 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 taking a break because you are pushing yourself too hard. All right. That's the message for this week. You're working too much. So it's time to take a break. Get back to nature. Get back to feeling like yourself again as i'm hearing that you were working so hard right that now it's time to take care of your body because you're a little bit depleted all right so let's get into the tarot today we're going to do something like i said completely organic um i do this for myself i just pull cards you know and see what comes up so that's what we're doing today keeping it simple right let's keep it simple folks we don't got to complicate it, although I have lots of spreads I love to do. But this week, I don't know if it's a heavier week for the collective post-eclipse. I think we're all feeling a bit tired and a bit overwhelmed with the state of the world. So we owe it to ourselves to be taking care of ourselves and each other when it comes to our care. What's coming up for you, Leo, this week? Show me, Spirit. What's happening in your world? Beyond the Oracle messages. Show me, Spirit. Let's get a couple messages for Leo. Yeah, like I said, you're working too hard. You're working towards your own abundance. You want financial stability and security, and you're having to be super strong. I think, like I said, you've been toiling away. This is a skilled craftsman. Oops, sorry. Skilled, cra skilled craftsman. He's working, working, working. And I think you love your work. And if you don't love your work, you have something else you're working on. You're working on something that you love. 
And I do believe that you are seeing some tangible results from that. You are seeing more money coming in. And you are really, I think whatever your work is revolving around Leo, it's really making you feel like you're capitalizing on your God-given gifts as a Leo in this world. So maybe it involves um, a lot of like, I, I've heard talking, you could be talking quite a bit in your job. Um, you could be taking a more leadership role, getting that promotion. But you're being called this week to just put the work in. While you're working though, don't forget to take that time out for self-care. So maybe what you need to do when you read this reading, no matter what time of the week it is when you see this, or even if you're watching this post week, you Leos, start planning time just for you, right? So whether you need to take that exercise class or carve out that break in your day where you take a moment. The other day I had a very busy day and I literally just went outside and took a breath of fresh air. And if that's all the time you have, do it because it will help you feel a little bit more replenished. This is also the call um, for having more water in your life. So you could be guided to go towards like a body of water just to sit and contemplate or drink more water, bathe in water, take longer, take a hot shower, water. So if you do anything differently this week, it really is around nurturing yourself while so you can maintain. I feel like you're going at something at a feverish pace. Yeah, you see the path ahead of you pretty clearly. I don't think you're like confused here. What are you hard at work on? I'm curious. What are you hard at work on, Leo? You're manifesting, yeah. You're manifesting. I do believe you could have a someone by your side that, you know, you find gives you, you know, a lot of uh, excitement in the world. You could have a king of wands. Um, or you're just really passionate about the work that you do in the world. And I think you, you want to get to a point in your life where you leave a legacy in this world and that you can give back to the people around you. I think that's something that's something you're thinking about. Like, I want this work to, you know, I, I watched something of the day and it was really profound where it was like, you know, four, four or five centuries from now, you know, we will be forgotten. Everyone on this planet right now, I mean, most of us will be forgotten. There will be just an old picture. I mean, unless, you know, <laughs> science really advances, right? And we start freezing ourselves and that's just, that's for a sci-fi movie, but most of us, we want to make our mark, and the way to do that, I think, is through the work that we're being guided to do from a soul level. So, you know, people won't remember exactly what you did, but they'll always remember how you made them feel. So whatever mark you're making in the world, make it a place where you really help each other, help people feel better about themselves or about maybe you take so much pride in your work because you're, you're improving something. I feel like you're improving something in the world in your work. You could be guiding students. You could be, you know, a leader in your office. It's there's just something about your work where you need to start taking more pride in what you do. For sure. If you haven't already, please take a moment. Pat yourself on the back for all the hard work you've been doing. I'm being guided right now to really look into what is your obstacle coming up for the week. Coming back into balance because of that work ethic of yours. That's your obstacle. What's your opportunity? Well, this one to come out. Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe you don't really feel like you've quite gotten there. Maybe you're one of those Leos that just, you know what? As much as I work, I never feel like I'm there yet. So can you take a moment? Come back into balance. These two opposing forces in your life, right? Can you believe that you've actually arrived? Yeah. You're really opening and expanding here, aren't you? Ace of Wands. You're opening, you're expanding. I think you're in a new chapter here. You're being led and guided to manifest more in the material realm. What other messages do we have for Leo for the week ahead? Another Ace of Wands. You could be feeling a lot more, um, what do we say? Like you got your mojo going this week around somebody. So we talked a lot about your work life. Let's see what's going on a little bit beyond. What else besides work spirit? We're going to pull three cards. Huh, like I said, I felt it. You definitely have a love bond on your mind. Wow, deep love bond. We have the Six of Cups and the Lovers that came out. The Page of Swords. What are you trying to gain clarity in this connection? What are you trying to gain clarity over here? 
This page of swords. Whoa, I'm throwing cards today. We're gonna take it. Why not? Why not? Mm, someone's kind of made you a little bit sad recently. It's been a heavy burden. You're trying to move forward. Knight of Wands. I'll name the cards, sorry. Page of Wands. You're trying to cut through all the bullshit, right? Do you believe what they're saying, Leo? Page of, or five of Cups. You've been carrying a little bit of grief around this person. I think they've they've kind of put a lot on you. You're you're carrying a lot of the load of the weight of the relationship, I see. Um might be a little fiery. I feel like you've got something a little fiery around you. It's a deep love bond. Very deep love bond. I feel like you're juggling a lot right now with them. Trying to trying to be logical about what they're dealing, what they're doing. But it's slow. Whatever answers you're seeking, it's been slow. You guys have a lot of useless fights. A lot of blood just it just it's not worth it. We're too we have wolves fighting over sticks, right? They're not gonna hurt each other necessarily, but it's like senseless. It's like we fight about the stupidest stuff. Yeah, I think you're being led and guided to really just tap into your own resources this week and take time out for yourself. The Queen of Wands is a very um, industrious, like, I'm a go-getter. I can do what I need to do. But yeah, I feel like this person really puts you up in your head a lot. And you have to juggle quite a bit with them. It may not be a romantic connection. It could be a platonic connection. But with the lovers here in the Six of Cups, you have a lot of memories with this person. You guys have been through a lot. You've weathered a lot. And I think you're just getting tired of their shenanigans. You're getting tired of the things that they leave you up in your head a lot. I think that they're just kind of in and out. They're a fiery individual. I'm getting this vibe that they just... You just never know what to expect, and sometimes it's fun, and sometimes it's not. Show me a little bit more about this lovers. I want to clarify the lovers. Another lovers. Oh, you made a choice to be with them. You might have had a pause in your relationship, or maybe you broke up and got back together. And now you're together, and you guys are moving forward. You guys still have your moments where you guys argue, and it's, like, stupid. And then you guys realize, let's just, you know, you're my wish. I'm your wish. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this to ourselves? Ooh, you might have a tower moment I had this week with them. Let's go grab another deck. What's this tower moment? What's happening more on this tower? Something unexpected. Some unexpected upheaval could be happening this week for you. Coming up, Leo. Ooh, might be a good tower. Ooh. You might triumph over something with them. Ooh, there was something hidden underneath. Wow, look at that. And this is a deck I always use, so it wasn't stuck. You, you, Or maybe you were. Maybe you were stuck. Maybe you've been in what feels like um, a crisis with this person, and they put you up in, your, in a lot of unhappiness. You've been very unhappy. Um, maybe you had a tower moment. This isn't, no, this feels like some, like, because this is, like, coupled, I really get this vibe. This tower is, like, ongoing. Like, it feels like, it's like you're under a constant threat, but something's going to shift out, like something's shifting fundamentally in this, this bond. This week, I feel like you're going to have a breakthrough with this person. You're going to have a breakthrough and you're going to feel triumphant. Something's going to come back into balance, justice. Something's going to level out. I think you're going to have a healing talk with someone in your life that you have had difficulty with. And it's going to, you're going to come from, uh, don't, here we go. With the Queen of Cups here, right? Queen of Cups has an open heart, all right? So whatever it is around the conflict with this other individual, and this could be, I'm going to say romantic because we got two lovers here. But if you have been facing like an adversary at work, the way to feel triumphant and have things come back into balance. Um, but for the majority of you, this is definitely a romantic connection. And it's put you through a lot of grief. A lot. They, this person's put you through a lot of sorrow. Um, it's like you just can't get on the same page, right? Because you have these senseless, useless disagreements, misunderstandings, fights, putting out fires. 
You're very passionate about this person. I know you are. Aside from your work life, which is going great, I think you're becoming more and more confident, Leo. You are going to triumph over something with this person, but you are going to be really required to be as loving as you possibly can be in the situation. That's going to be your ticket out of whatever conflict you've had recently, whatever tower you've had that's left you really up in your head and grieving and really disappointed in this person. You're going to triumph over it. I think this week, especially just let your heart guide you. Okay. All right. Well, that's where I leave you for this week. Okay. I think in the future we will be, um, I switched up all the time. I think that's the thing you're going to have to understand about me and my reading. Expect the unexpected because life is full of twists and turns and we have to go where spirit leads us. Right? So really, really, um, recognize the love that's around you, especially with grounding again, right? Into your own energy. And you're going to do that by taking a break, right? Try not to work too hard this week. I think you need to pull back a little bit in your energy. Don't worry too much about them or anyone that you're fighting with and just nurture yourself. Come back into a state of balance as you have a, a, an opportunity to feel loved and comforted and allowing that to come in from others. Maybe even your mother is giving you some support this week or you might have a healing conversation. But more importantly, really give that to yourself, okay? All right, that's what I have for you, Leo. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.